What's going on guys? How you doing? This is TK coming at you. And uh had an interesting analogy thrown at me in my studies today. I'm always taking the time to study. That's what really sets me apart. People talk about this is a side note, but people talk about um gurus and experts. The person who should be considered an expert says that uh, Bitcoin is like an onion. And he's constantly learning, peeling back layers. So if Andreas can say that about Bitcoin, I think all these other people are far from experts. But in my study, because that's what I like to do, is peel back layers. In my study, I found out that... Um, pretty interesting analogy I'll share with you guys. Basically, uh, think about Bitcoin as the internet of money. So when you visit the internet, treat it like it's its uh, own country. You know, when you visit America, you typically will get dollars while you're there visiting, right? If you are going to visit Europe, depending upon what part of Europe, you're going to get Euro while you're there visiting. So if you're going to visit the internet, then get cryptocurrency because it is a form of currency that's on the internet. So that was a perfect analogy in terms of where cryptocurrency fits. And just like the internet is a worldwide expression of communication between two or between any two people anywhere, cryptocurrency is a, another form of expression that exists on the internet. Because typically people express value through currency, right? So currency then becomes a form of expression. So that's a perfect analogy I want to share with you guys because I don't... Uh, assume that uh, Bitcoin is for everyone the same way you can't say that uh, visiting a, a foreign location is for everyone most people will live and die in the four blocks that they grew up in so the opportunity to travel the world and see new places won't be afforded to everyone so Bitcoin is in the same fashion in that it's not for everyone. Matter of fact, it's really for a select few who has the uh, interest in visiting the internet and using the, the currency of the internet. So it's kind of like uh, specialty topics. You know, nuclear fusion doesn't interest the average person. And they have no need to learn anything about that type of propulsion. The only propulsion they care about is their car, right? And most people don't even know shit about that either. So, we're in a situation where uh, Bitcoin is only for the right people in the right circles who have the right amount of money and actively position themselves. So, because I have transitioned to an entrepreneur on the internet, I've also transitioned to receiving a salary in cryptocurrency. And because my income is in cryptocurrency, when Bitcoin goes up, so does my uh, value of the amount of income that I receive. So, not understanding uh, free market dynamics, people operate out of fear and out of emotional response when the markets go up or go down. And um, it, it, there's no need for that. that that's not... Uh, a realistic response and there's no place for it so essentially markets uh, in supply and demand will go up and down it's a natural response to money in and money out what you have to do is 
transition to the point where you're heavily based or you're like me receiving a salary that way you're not affected in the way in which everyone else is affected now if you choose to participate in the economy of the internet and then jump into cryptocurrency you have to understand that that currency is um, most prevalent within the internet because that's the market in which it was born and created for now there are applications that allow you to go off net with your internet money <laughs> or currency but that's not to say that uh, it's the primary application behind that currency's creation you know it's kind of like the same analogy if you go to Europe and there's a place that accepts dollars so you don't have to change to euro then that's an exception that's not the rule so uh, hopefully that makes sense and you guys further understand where and what and the role that uh, crypto plays because it's a voluntary participation there's no uh, obligation to use cryptocurrency and there's no propagation to take cryptocurrency out of its uh, market that it was created for and that it's most successful in so you know when you're in Rome you play with same things Romans play with. You know, when you're on the internet, that's when you play with cryptocurrency, even though cryptocurrency has a role to play outside because it's a world currency. So put everything within its perspective. You know, that's the problem with all of these uneducated people that get involved in uh, cryptocurrency and then they con convert it back to fiat currency. And now you have tax problems with your conversion because that which renders to Caesar must be given back to him. So you're going to have to deal with the justification of all that cash and the taxation on said cash. So it's maybe smarter once you go Bitcoin to stay Bitcoin or once you go cryptocurrency state cryptocurrency but these people don't know fiat currency much less crypto and that's the reason why they're displaying uh, negative choices that will financially tax them worse you know you're taking 10 steps back in spite of your one step forward so that's nothing to brag about or make a video about that's something that shows your lack of understanding and invite Caesar to come take the money that you're parading because it's his. No one owns fiat other than the central authority. So if you parade fiat in a video, that encourages the central authority to come take what's theirs. Education matters. And uh, in the 21st century, education is power, especially when it comes to finance. So I just want to leave you guys with that. Open your mind so that you can open your wallet. The main thing that I see is a lot of people don't read, they don't study, but they damn sure run their mouth. And that's the problem that I'm running into when it comes to having these conversations. You know, because my conversations are based on study. And in result of my study, I come to YouTube and I come to Facebook with video marketing that suggests that you should make better decisions to more effectively position your future so that you're winning. And the type of decisions that you're making actually position you ahead of everyone else. That's the essence of my video marketing. Now, because it's a 
uh, it, because it is a suggestion towards you and your course of action, it doesn't affect me in any shape, way, or form. It's just a motivational speech to give you something to think about in positioning. Best believe that everything I study and then share with you is already being implemented in my personal life actions behind this camera okay so don't confuse the two and don't act as if you affect anything over here I'm suggesting that you do some things to affect over there and whether or not you do it again has nothing to do with me nor does it affect me if anything I'm selfless service in what I offer because there's a possibility that what I offer can help someone if they listen and act on it and then change their life. So that's really what it's about.